what should be the keyword threshold if the keyword is overspending and does not generate any any sales great question and it depends on how much you have budget first of all to test and secondly how aggressive you want to be so let's say if you um, think in a way that my cost per conversion i'm looking at fifty dollars right if i don't get a lead or a conversion for fifty dollars from a certain keyword i'm going to stop it or you can say i'm prepared to go 1.5x spend that much money of to my target cpa which is 50. so i will i'm prepared or you or your client are prepared to spend 75 or i'm going to spend double the target cpa which is 50. so that means 100. so whatever that number is that is your threshold i cannot tell you because i don't know uh, the business i don't know the numbers i don't know the budgets so you will make out and you work out what number you want to pause a campaign and then that's how you or your team should uh, filter out any keywords which has spent more than 1.5x or 2x your target cpa and zero conversions you pause them if you find that your bullseye keywords are not converting then it's not a problem with the keywords because you know that let's say you are selling iPhones and you are bidding on buy iPhone 14 and if they're not converting on that which has got a very high intent for purchase then the problem is somewhere else then you need to look at your website your landing page there's some problem there is no problem on the uh, keyword because the keyword has got the, uh, the intent then you need to start optimizing and this is what we call conversion rate optimization cro you need to optimize keep optimizing it's not just google's fault that you don't get the conversions google is just i would say 20 to 30 percent then the rest happens on the website when you get the click how long they're staying for are they scrolling to the bottom of the page are they engaging with your content are they clicking on the video view button time on site are they clicking the add to card button and if they are why aren't they adding the billing information and proceeding to the thank you page so that funnel needs to be sorted out and this is where you need to measure each step of the funnel and see where the leakage is happening and if there is a leakage which is happening on step one or step two or step three then you optimize that part of the funnel and not just the keywords or the ads because you know you're getting the right click on the keyword for the right ad make sure the ad is also good and it does say iphone 14 and not iphone 10 because if they come to your website and they're looking for iphone 10 and you are selling iphone 14 they are not going to convert so you've got to make sure you have got complete alignment from your search term the keywords the ads and the landing page